What's the freakiest thing you ever did in your life? Mm, I fucked the guy and his mom. What? <laughs> his stepmom. No, his like like birth mother. And she sucked his dick like. <laughs> yeah. How was that? It was, it was great. Once he looked at her and told her, yo, come do what you do best, it was downhill from there. Wait, he told his mom, come do what you do best and come do what you do best. She started sucking his dick and then at one point they looked at me and he was like, come suck this dick. And I was like, why well, obliged? Sucked his dick too. He just sucked his dick too. We both sucked his dick. Together. Together. That is one big they, happy family. I like that for you. I ain't gonna lie. All right, shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Kadash, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachak Wadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach one of the scriptures, <clears throat> and salutations to all the brothers out there. We are pushing his word in our truth and in all sincerity. And you just saw that clip, all right, from this uh, group, which, uh, which they're uh, known as uh, the Dirty Street Confessions podcast, okay? You know, these uh, these guys, basically, they're from New York, and um, they ask, you know, all sorts of people, all right, you know, well, what are the you know, nastiest things they've done in bed, you know, the freakiest things? And, you know, there's a lot of vile things on this uh, page, all right? It really will, uh, you know, gross you out. But, you know, this one by far, you know, the one that you just saw, okay? It, you know, that's the, the, the worst thing I've, you know, heard from this page, okay? And, um, you know, th this woman, she had a threesome with her man and the, uh, her man's mom, all right? And the w worst part about it is the guy's mom, his biological mom, as you heard, was blowing him, man. And see, this is why the Lord is about to destroy the two thirds, because these uh, acts that are um, that are done, they're just out of control now. You know, it's just these things are getting worse and worse and worse. Okay, if we were here, you know, if we were to stay here in America for another 10, 20, 30 years, the things that would you know be produced, you know, would be unreal. The fruits would be, you know. Uh, uh, the, the, the you know the fruits of this place would just be, you know, just nothing but uh, evil, wicked, and it's just it would be like I said out of control, man. You know, all right. Like I said, this is why the Lord's gonna you know, you know, destroy the two thirds. This is why ultimately the Lord is gonna hit that reset button. Okay, and this is why the Lord's about to take out Esau, because I'll say this: under this man's rulership. These things are allowed, and also these things are exalted in this man's rulership. You see, in, in the kingdom of heaven, if things like this will go, you know, would happen, people would get put to death on the spot, man. Okay, they would get put to death on the spot. They they would get, a you know, uh, they would get, you know get you know uh, um, captured, okay, and then they would be publicly executed. You see. These things don't happen in this society, though. Everything is just, you know, laughs and giggles, ha ha. You know, teach his own. All right, love is love. This is why the Lord's about to destroy this, you know, kingdom. All right, but let's start off with this. This is Second Ezra 15 and 5, and it reads here: Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. And this is why the Lord is going to be justified in destroying America. This is why he's bringing, what, what did it say there? The sword, famine, death, and destruction. Because w w wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Okay? Like I said, you, you listen to this chick, and she, she thinks it's funny and cute. The guy's laughing and giggling about it. They think it's okay. This is not okay, man. And of course, you know, our people got to be in the forefront of all this. You know, you would think a heathen would be doing this. No, of course, it's got to be our people. It's got to be, you know, Jake, man. You know, this is terrible. These things are terrible. And you see these guys, you know, all these cats on here. 
You know, they don't condemn this, you know, wickedness because they're getting paid to bring it out. Okay? And they might, you know, holler at some of these chicks, you know, deal with them, you know. All right? Get the, you know, uh, the rod used. So they're all happy, you know. Simple. See, Jake's real simple, man. You know? But like I said, these, these women, man, they, they, they got to go, bro. They, they, this shit's got to go. Not just the women, but they, they all these guys, you know, all these people, man, these wicked people, they have to go, man. All right? But you know what? We're going to get on the women a little bit because, you know, this stuff is, uh, uh, like I said, out of control, man. And these women got to get rebuked, man. They got to get rebuked. Salaki, hold up. Where is it? I know it's a Ciroc. I mean, uh, Let me get this real quick. This is, um, here we go. This is Ciroc, chapter 25, and, um, I think, uh, let's see if there's anything else. Let's get to the point. This is Ciroc 25 and 19, and it reads here. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, that the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, okay? You know, these women... They really don't think that they're doing anything wrong. Okay? And even if they had, like, somewhat of a conscience, you know, they think they could just get away with it. Oh, it's okay. I'm not going to be judged. You know, I know it's a little off, but, you know, why not? Let's have a little bit of fun. You only live once. Have fun a little bit. That's how a woman thinks. They got that YOLO spirit like Esau. Okay? See, the Lord's going to destroy here. All right? They destroy these people. They support this. Because you got a lot of guys that they'll, uh, like I said, support this behavior. Okay? Let me keep reading. Let me jump down to 21. It says, Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. You see, and for you brothers out there, don't stumble uh, at these uh, at the beauty of a woman, man. Okay? All right? I'll say this. A lot of these, you know, good-looking women, hey, they're, they're the biggest f freaks, man. The biggest, you know, sinners, so to speak. Stay away from them, okay? Now, if, if something falls in your lap, so be it. But, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, hey, don't chase these, you know, women. Don't fall for them. All right, hey, how it says there, don't desire, or desire her not for pleasure, okay? Because hey, I'll say this, hey, you don't want to be tangled up with one of these dragons, man. You know, a woman that's, you know, not a, uh, 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 you know, a loving mother. Uh, she, she's not a, uh, a, um... You know, a wife that supports you, you know. You got to stay away from these women. This is they. This is the worst time period to get a, a woman. So I'll say this. For a lot of brothers, man, you, you got to accept the fact that you, you might be uh, single, man. Okay? You might be single until, you know, you know, all hell breaks loose, man. All right? Till the kingdom comes. Because like I said, these women are terrible, man. And you, you don't want to be around it. All right? But let me get another one. This is uh, Proverbs uh, 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no uh, done no wickedness. You know? See, these women, just in general, man, they don't believe they've done any wickedness. Okay? They could do all this, these vile things, commit adultery, to commit incest. All right? You know, uh, do all sorts of vile acts. You know, but be, be a... a you know, a lesbian. They think everything is cool, man. They think everything is cool. And this is why the Lord, man, is about to, they, to kill a lot of these women, man. This shit is crazy. Like I said, it's just not, you know, the women either, man. It's, it's, it's the men too. But like I said, you know, he, this woman's talking about it. And it was, it's not just what she did. It's how she uh, uh, was talking about it. Like, it was nothing wrong with it. It was cool. You know? She was just like, oh, well, whatever. I did it. You know? That was her whole spirit. It's terrible, man. You know? And uh, let me get one more scripture. I'm going to get Zachariah real quick. Was it uh, the uh, 13th chapter? This is uh, Zechariah 13 and 8, and it reads here. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall 
be left therein. And this is talking about how two thirds of our people in America are going to be utterly wiped out. Okay. And I'll say this too. Hey, those rebellious and wicked Israelites that are around the world. Okay. That survive all this, you know, destruction that's about to, you know, hit this world. They're going to die too, man. Okay. Hey, you know, we're, we're, we're going to eliminate these uh, uh, rebels and these wicked ones. Okay. You know. Hey, if you if you're part of the wicked, you, you're gonna get judgment. You Israelites that are, that are that are evil, you're about to die, man. Okay, verse nine, and I will bring the third part through. Talking about the one third, the elect, through the fire. Okay, talking about that spiritual fire first. Okay, that 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 uh, um, you know, because the Lord put us through what that that furnace of adversity, furnace of affliction, as the scriptures say. Okay. And, you know, we're going through that fire first, first and foremost. But then secondly, well, we're actually going to, you know, get through the the, 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 the uh, destruction, man. You know, the chariots are going to, you know, sa save the brothers, man. Right as these missiles are hitting, man. Okay. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them and I will say it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. So that's what the elect is going to do. Okay, and the elect is, they're not going to be, you know, performing these type of acts, man. Okay? They're not going to uh, uh, be cool with these things. They're going to be signing and crying. They're going to be, you know, about these things. They're going to be, you know, vexed by the, you know, filthy conversation of the wicked. You know? And we hate this. This, this is an irritation, man. You know? It's an irritation But it is what it is We understand that the Lord has to You know Allow these people to You know Continue in their wickedness To ultimately judge them Alright But uh, that's pretty much it You know I'm going to end this lesson Just wanted to do a little quick hit on that You know Hopefully it was edifying hey, You brothers and sisters out there hey, Just continue to You know Get better with Yahweh You know continue, continue to get right with the Lord You know Hey, stay away from these people. Separate yourself from this, you know, you know, present evil world. And uh, hey, keep fighting for righteousness. And with that, you know, shalom.